It is completely, there is a lot of water back here, guys. Oh my God. That's the lake over there. Look, it's level at the top of the beaver dam. This is gonna let loose some water. So you guys are gonna wanna stick around for this. Wow. Look at that. Let's get started. Folks, welcome back to another episode of Folks, welcome back to another episode of Fox River Bushcraft. I'm Jonathan Aguirre, and today we're here in the creeks. Right in front of me is a quarry that they dug out years and years ago for sand and stuff or whatever they use the material for. But as they dug it out, it filled with water and turned into a lake. So now that the overflow, because it's always seeping water through the ground, it comes down this creek and empties back into the Fox River. So folks, I showed you in the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna show you again. There is a lot of water being held back right here from the lake. Look at how flooded that's gotta be at least. Right in this area right here behind the dam, that's gotta be at least four feet deep right there. M maybe, maybe less because it does drop down right here in front of the dam and the dam's right there. So then it drops back down on the other side. So let's see what we can do here. I feel like this is gonna be amazing water flow though. There's beavers playing right there. I can see them. Their tails come above the water. Yep, there he is again. I don't know if you can see that. It's very hard to see. Is right where that channel is, right in the middle. That means we have some angry beavers here that are going to be watching us. we got to watch our back. Yeah, I can see him right there. Yep, that's his tail. All right, folks, let's get started. Hopefully we don't have any beavers coming this way. All right, folks, I need to get another tripod. Mine broke, so you're on a GoPro tripod, so you're a little bit lower to the ground. Well, let's get started. Splinters. I said, oh, I forgot my gloves. And I'm hoping a beaver doesn't come over here. Can you guys see that on camera? Hold on. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, I thought I heard something. Anyways, beavers are watching me right now. I think we can break it open. Let me grab my potato. Guys, let's let it loose. Oh, these beavers are going to be mad.
flowing. Beaver dam's completely gone. Water is flowing through. All the way down to the Fox River. So the quarry is right there. You see that big open water past this little opening? That's the lake right there. And so what happens is, since this is a quarry, it's not a natural lake, it fills with water from the ground seep and all that overflow has to go out somewhere so it comes down this channel all the way down this way back into the fox oh i gotta remember that this is very high beaver territory I had my back turned to this channel over here that could have been bad yeah it is flowing look at the current it is flowing out of here, guys. Very nice. I want to walk this way, but beavers are literally smacking their tails right here in this little tiny channel that opens up into the lake. So I'm guessing their den is somewhere around here. I'm not seeing it right now, but it could be like right around this bend over here. Look how clear this water is, though. Absolutely beautiful. Where are you at, beavers? We're gonna have to run like the Dickens. <laughs> the Dickens. <laughs> A beaver swims up. I guarantee they're lot. That's real deep right there. But all this water is flowing out now. This is so stupid, why are we walking over here? I just want to show you guys the lake real quick. Looking for beaver dens on the sides, I don't see any. I'm about to show you guys something very cool. Alright, here is the giant quarry. So you can see where it's light and then it gets dark right there because there is no shallow bank that goes down, it just drops straight down. Yeah, watch out for beavers. Yeah, but I wanted to show you guys the quarry over here. Very cool. Oh, there are some huge carp in here. I just saw some real huge carp. Yep, there's a bunch of carp in here. I can see them feeding on the banks. Yep. It's carp smacking their tails and stuff. Just in case it's not, let's get out of here. Because beavers are coming to check the water level. That part makes me nervous right there. It drops down, so I'm guessing there might be some beaver den in there. Yeah, the beavers aren't going to be happy. Broke the dam wide open. Oh, this water feels so cool. Kind of makes me want to take a swim, but I don't want to get attacked by beavers. <laughs> All right, folks. I'll be right back with you. All right, folks. That was a nice water flow after we broke open the beaver dam. A lot of water is going back down towards the Fox River. Oh, excuse me, as it should be. Because like I said, this is all fed from groundwater that's seeping up. 
So all that overflow has to go somewhere, right? So, like I said, it goes down this creek for about a couple miles and then empties into the Fox River. So folks, that's where the dam was. Completely non-existent. It is flowing through as it should be. So I'm gonna hang around for a little bit, see if we can get any beavers coming uh, and checking on the water loss of the dam. If not, this will be the end of the video. <laughs> I always appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Um, it's great to be back after a 30 day absence. If you go check two videos back where we unclogged a culvert, I explain why we were gone for 30 days, if you are interested in knowing. But today's episode, I don't want to bore anybody with that. Um, if you want to learn more about that, go check that episode. I'll link it in the comments if you're interested. So folks, we did a good job back here. That being said, need you to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up so we can get into the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and enjoy it as you have. Till next week or in a couple days, Johnny out.